Hello everybody and welcome back to Nerd Rat. I am Sean and today we're going to be talking about these guys. The B7C Aperture Accent Bulbs that are an absolute game changer and here's why. Did you see that? Did you get that on film? Alright, so if you haven't seen these yet, these are the new-ish, been up for a couple years, um, Aperture Bulbs that are meant to be replacements for your practical lights in your shot. They're full RGB, also go from I think it was 2K to 10K um, color, so you can match any of your lights. This is tungsten um, and this is daylight, another aperture, Lightstorm 300X there. But yeah, you're able to match basically any light source on these, which is awesome. That way you don't have to fucking have, you know, a bin full of all these different kinds of bulbs to replace all the bulbs in your, in your shot. These are perfect for people like us that are low budget indie filmmakers. I think any production house can really benefit from having a kit of these. That little case I showed you earlier has eight of them in it and also is the charger, which is freaking fantastic. Uh, but we'll get more on the case in just a second. Going back to the bulbs, um, they have a seven watt power draw, which is so nice, especially for people like us, again, low budget, can't afford generators. The other thing is that you're potentially running cable all over your house trying to run lights like this. This is a 575 watt uh, tungsten bulb uh, in that thing. And this thing uh, is only seven watts. So it'll definitely help your wallet. We just shot a short film in my apartment called Kinesis. It's like a mini trilogy. Um, use these throughout the shoot and they came in handy like crazy. And that way I'm not paying out of my ass to pay the electric bill uh, because I ran 575 watt bulbs throughout the house. These bulbs also have a built-in lithium battery that at max power, if you turn this all the way up, can last up to 70 minutes. It is awesome that you can have batteries in this because in my mind, that means you can take them out like to the middle of the forest. You can have these as like little lights in like cars to help light your subjects when you're out on the road and you don't have to power them at all if you don't want to. Especially if you have eight of them, you can just kind of switch out which ones are dying on you. But I found that even that like partially dimmed, you get a pretty decent light cast and that will last like hours at, at this rate. The other nice thing though is that if you are plugging them into say an overhead light or a lamp or a practical that can be plugged in, um, they're obviously a bulb. So this actually acts like any bulb you have. I don't know if it charges the battery. I would imagine it does. I couldn't find anywhere that confirmed that, but if power is running through it, I would, I would imagine that the battery gets charged while you do that. Because they also not only sell them in a kit, you can buy them individually, but when you buy them individually, they do not come with a charger. So I feel like that's the only way you can charge them. I didn't see that they had like an individual single bulb charger anywhere um, online. So I would imagine that's the, the only way you can charge it. But that way, yeah, if there's already lights set up in your shot or you know, you're know you just replacing, say you're shooting in like a, a hotel room and want to replace all the bulbs in the hotel room so they look nice, you can throw these bad boys in just about any E26 or E27 socket. The other great thing about these bulbs is that they're pretty damn color accurate. Um, sitting around 95 plus CRI, that makes color grading way nice with these. When I was color grading Kinesis, um, skin tones look fantastic. We had these in the kitchen scene um, in an overhead. You can actually see them at one point um, from the low angle from the sink. Actually, the, the green cast on her from the sink was one of these two because they're RGB and I sat off screen and just dimmed it um, in a pulsing manner because these are also Bluetooth and you can control them from the Citus app, which if you're not using the Citus app, go download it right now, it's free. If you have any aperture lights, they all hook up to it. Um, the light storm, these, they all hook up to the app. Um, we're gonna talk about that in a second. They are fully dimmable from zero to a hundred. So they get pretty, pretty bright um, as you can see. And then you can just control it right here if you're just needing to do a quick change and don't wanna get the app open. I'm gonna lower this cause it's probably way too bright in the lens there. The other nice thing about the dimmability is that the color does not shift. So as you can see, as I bring this up, it is gonna be the same color temperature all the way through. Whereas, you know, if you've ever used tungsten lights, like this one behind me in my room light, they do get much warmer as they get dimmer. So that means that if you're trying to color match, you'll have to use more correction gels 
um, to match your scene. But the other thing is, you, you know when you dim a tungsten light down to a certain percentage, it's gonna be this certain, you know, color temperature. But, you know, sometimes you just want a, a dim, just soft light and you don't wanna have to gel it. So something like this is fantastic because uh, the color change doesn't shift. Not only are these RGB and, you know, full color temperature range, they also have nine built-in effects that you can control from the Citus app. There's no way to do it from here, so you will need to download the Citus app. Again, if you haven't done it, do it now, it's free, do it. It is such a cool app and makes your life so much easier on set. When we're shooting Kinesis, I had my big 300X outside the window, pointed in and blasting light to mimic daylight because we had a partially cloudy day. So every once in a while a cloud would pass over and I, I could just pull out my phone and up the, you know, the intensity of the light just ever so slightly so we can get like consistent lighting and all that. Not only that, you can hook up every light and they're all individualized on the app so you can change the color and the effect and everything for each light separately. Um, you can also program these in like shapes and stuff like that. So if you have like a music video and you want like these bulbs behind the person, you can have them like do fun things with shapes. Um, I haven't really messed with that yet, so I'm not gonna go into it in this, but if that's something that, you know, catches your eye, that's something that's your style, definitely check it out. Going back to the uh, little controls here, there's a few things you can do with these, not only just dim and brighten, you can also power on and off if you're running off battery power. Um, but if you hold certain combinations of these, it'll tell you, like, see that, that tells you that it's fully charged. Depending on the amount of, you know, flashes from that light determines a certain charge level. Um, you can also change between AC mode. So now it's an AC mode, so you have to plug it in to a fixture. But if you hold all three of these and switch it to battery power, now you can turn it on and it's on battery power. So you can switch between modes, you can switch the dimmability, um, check the power level, all that kind of stuff. They even have, you can't really see it right here, but a kind of quick guide etched into the side here, which is kind of cool. And then this whole construction is actually uh, the heat sink. It's aluminum, it's high grade aluminum that actually pulls heat away from the, the Bluetooth and all the, the controllability computer stuff in the middle here. The, the one downside I found with how big this is is that when we had it in the overhead lights, I couldn't put the cover back on. And so in that shot that you see in Kinesis, um, you can just see the bulbs just hanging out because we couldn't get the little plate back over. But if you're just throwing these in a lamp or don't really care if you see them because they kind of look cool, you can even use it as like a futuristic sci-fi light, just naked in the fucking overhead. But yeah, that was, that was kind of the only downside I had was they, they are a little bit bulky. They could be a little thinner, but I don't know if you can fit all that microchips and everything in there and still have it that small and have it, you know, be cooled enough. And the last thing I want to talk about, about just the bulb itself, is that when you do control it from that Citus app, you can control it up to 164 feet away, which is awesome. Cause that, yeah, if you have it mounted somewhere high or you're shooting in a field or doing some like, you know, fantasy thing where there's lamps in a big field and there's a ghostly woman walking through it, you can control all those lights up to 160 feet. Um, and the other nice thing about these is that the more you have, the stronger the signal becomes between all of your lights. So your, your network becomes more powerful the more of these you have. Um, Cause you can pair these with any aperture lights that are controllable by Bluetooth, which is, just amazing for these little run and gun shoots that we do. All right, let's talk about the case a little bit. I love how small it is. First of all, you have eight lights in here and it's this tiny. Uh, it's built out of like a high grade polymer. Um, so it is bash proof. It is like a Pelican case. I'm sure everybody here at least has at least one Pelican case. If you don't go pick them up because they are worth it. Um, it has a nice, nice grippy handle, really nice latches on the front here. They're like kind of dual action and then it opens up and it's just, it's just gorgeous. All cut out, all seamlessly in here. You just pop them right in and you're good to go. This is where the little charger port is. This is kind of the only thing I had an issue with is that this is not covered. So if you were to be shooting outside and the wind picks up or it rains or say you accidentally set it down in the mud, this is gonna get gunk in it um, and there's no nothing to cover it. 
So what I do when I know when we're gonna be shooting on a, a dusty place, um, I'll just slap some gaff tape over it while I'm not using it. And that does a pretty good job of keeping a lot of the dust out. But yeah, overall, this case is awesome. It has a little spot for your cable that plugs in there. And then it actually comes with extra fuses um, just in case you blow a fuse in the, in the case. Um, but yeah, I love the construction. It is so simple to use and easy. The other nice thing about this case is that there is a little bit of a grommet situation happening in the lid. So it is dust proof. They do not say that it's waterproof, but it's probably like water resistant. Um, so don't leave it out in the rain. I mean, you shouldn't be leaving anything out in the rain anyway, but at least when you're storing it in your closet or your warehouse or wherever, um, you will not have any dust getting in there and getting into all the those little components that are in those bulbs. The other nice thing too, is that it does have um, locks on it. So if you don't trust your crewmates, um, from sealing your shit, you can lock it up. It has it on both sides. Maybe you're traveling and don't want TSA, like, you know, fucking around in there. They'll probably get in there anyway, they always do. Um, overall, yeah, super solid. Very, very happy with this whole kit in general. I actually bought these lights specifically to shoot a short film um, I've been talking about at Kinesis. We had about 12 people on set that day and trying to light my apartment, it's its pretty small. It's not a very big spot. So if you have 12 people in there, you know, hair and makeup, sound guys, all that kind of shit, having that many stands needed to light those scenes was just not gonna work. So we looked into getting these bulbs and they actually were on sale from B&H when we bought them. They are, you know, just under 700 bucks for the eight pack kit, but you're getting eight high quality lights in that kit. I, I think it's like kind of a, a no brainer for small teams like us to get something like this. Definitely made it a super fast process. We just replaced all the bulbs in the house um, that were gonna be in shot and then pre-lit the day before and it saves that in your phone. So then when you load up your sequence or your scene, you can just turn all the lights back on and they'll be what you set the day before. So come shoot day, all we had to do was kind of do some minor adjustments when cloud cover came over or we're just like, ah, you know, we're gonna change up this shot a little bit. You can just brighten or dim or do an effect. We didn't really do any effects except for the little green glow, um, just to add like the, I don't even know why we did a green glow. Um, we just felt like something needed to happen with the, her powers. And I don't know how can, like telekinesis fits with, you know, a slimy green glow on the face, but you know, we wanted to experiment. We had fun with it. We actually just put this in a drinking glass in the sink. And um, that's how we like kind of kept the light up on our face. So now I'm going to go into the Citus Link app. Um, it's pretty much essential to have this app with these lights um, because otherwise you don't really have controllability except for dimming. But going through it, yeah, you can control the full brightness range from zero to 100. Um, you can change your color temperature, which is super sweet, just right on the app here, um, just by sliding some sliders. If you need any color, you can go to any color on a nice color wheel like you've seen in your editors and really dial that in. But the best thing I think is the effects. You have cop car, which is, you know, you're, you're always gonna need cop car shit. You just throw this outside somebody's window and um, have a pretty convincing cop car uh, siren thing. You, you can control the whole rate and everything on that um, and different customizable, depending on what you need for your shoot. You know, you have your fire, which is super nice. Um, you can have it natural, super warm, or like kind of a cool fire, which doesn't really make sense. But if you need it um, to match your lighting, you got it. There's nine of these effects. They have lightning, they have paparazzi. So if you need to fake flashes on a celebrity, shit like that, fireworks. The other thing is that if there's already something that has an effect in your shot, say there's already a faulty bulb, you can actually use the, the effects picker and record that faulty bulb happening and it will apply whatever's happening in this shot to the bulb, which is so cool. So if you're already having like flashing neons or something like that from like a bar or you're shooting a club scene and there's like strobe lights, you can record that effect and apply it to the bulb. Um, not only that, you have the music effects. So if you have like a music video that you're shooting, you can actually set all this up, import the song and run music through it and it'll rock with the song. Um, just depending on, you know, all these settings, all, all these control that. Um, one, of the, one of the nicest thing 
that I use all the time uh, is the color picker. This allows you to set the bulb to whatever your main lights are gonna be, or say there's a couple lights in your shot that you're like, okay, we want those, but we wanna bring it up a little bit with these bulbs. You can actually go ahead, I'm gonna pick this guy and just take a picture. And now this is the same color temperature as this light behind me. So, so handy, makes it so quick. There's no guessing game. There's no like, shifting it around to try to like match it by eye and then you're just staring into lights and going blind from that um yeah you just take a picture you can retry and you know now i want you know it to be more daylight like this thing and now it's matching that which is so cool <laughs> the app is amazing there's so much stuff that i'm not going to get into but that's just some of the things i use every time i use my aperture stuff now but that's it. That's about all I can really talk about this bulb. I highly, highly recommend it. Get a case or just get one to test it out. You'll want the rest of them, trust me. These have been an absolute game changer for our production and we use them all the time and you will not be sorry if you buy these. I do have a link down below to these. It is an affiliate link. So if you wanna help us out, it is an Amazon affiliate link and we get a little bit of a kickback. So um you know help us out small creators un unite absolutely go pick some of these up or rent them to see if you want to actually use them in the future but um like i said you will not be sorry that you bought these but that's it thanks for joining us um hopefully this gave you some kind of insight into these bulbs if you're on the fence about buying them and uh hopefully it helps you guys out so if it did like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one